Hello, near far, wherever you are. This is Nisha plus Rich World. And I want to welcome you all back to another mukbang. Before I get into what's on the menu, let me acknowledge you guys. I just want to thank you so, so, so much for coming back once again. And thank you to all new subscribers. I'm glad you found us entertaining. You want to see us eat. You did something in some sort of way. I'm glad we did that for you. But without further delay, before I get into everything, what we doing, let's go ahead and pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this meal that I'm about to partake. I ask that you would bless it right now in the name of Jesus and all those that are watching. Amen. All right, you guys. So as you can see, I'm solo like Dolo, if that's even a thing. But I'm back again. And you already know what I'm doing. I've already tried the infamous sauce of uh, Q to Q. You know, so Q sauce, eat with Q. If you don't know who she is, you should go check her out. She's so sweet. And we will forever be thankful to her. Um, but we are. So today, I'm going to do the Dame Dash sauce. Flavors by Dame Dash. If you don't know who he is, I don't know what you're waiting on. He's like my brother in the mukbang world. Just like all the other mukbang, all my sisters and brothers. So I, I would advise that you would check him out. I'm going to leave a description. And down in my description box, I'm going to leave a link to his video where I made his sauce at. And also, I may even be able to just spruce it up a little bit and leave the ingredients down there for you guys. So if you are interested, you should go try it. And I know it's been a whole lot of talk about the sauces being similar and all that the same. But I'm here to let you know, as a person who has tasted both sauces, they don't taste the same. However... They have some ingredients in it to bring its similarities or whatever. But, got total, total, it hit totally different taste buds. Let's just say it like that. But without further delay, let me let y'all know what's on the menu. I got my crunchy chicken strips again. I got my double dip, um, what is this? Shrimp again. I have a video coming out on that. If it's not already out, go ahead and click the car and then somewhere. You know where it be at. And I have some fries. I didn't have my veggie platter today. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and get into this. Because I am hungry. And today I'm drinking this. I guess this came out around the time where it's so bright. The pink ocean spray cranberry. I think it has white and red cranberries. Pink, white, and red cranberries. I didn't even know that it existed. Thanks for busting my bubble. But anyway, I'm going to be drinking on that today. Because I don't have my famous... Um, Pineapple cranberry or cranberry pineapple. Y'all, y'all know I'll be talking. Let's go ahead and dip. Alright. And so about tasting is what I mean. Of course you taste stuff while you cook. So this is the dang dash sauce and this is my first time. Alright, let's go. Okay. Oh, I had too much, too much little heat to it. Hmm. That's good, dang. I hope I'm saying it that way. He's my brother here for him. So, I recently um heard in a live that Dame Dash was from a, well, a video. He was from Detroit. That's where my father's side of the family is from. Unfortunately, I've never been there, but I act like I have because family's there. <laughs> so, shout out to you. Okay, so, you guys, this is also a mayo mayonnaise-based sauce. And it has a thick consistency. You see how it covers the food? Like, as if I was dipping it in, like, a cheese sauce or something like that. It's very thick. Now, the only thing that's missing is the green onion, but that's Okay. I added a little onion powder because I didn't have any green onion here with me. That's something you have to buy fresh from the market. Seriously, because I don't have it. But. I burned myself out. Early. That sounds. It's good. It's dev it's uh, I know it's for it's fried food. So. That's really good. Do a shrimp. Yeah, that sounds good. Tell me. I 
and I'm telling y'all, y'all won't believe me when I say this. But even though the sauces have similar uh, bases and stuff like that, they don't have the same, you know. But it's so good. And I love a good deal. You know, it's like, I, I like, a lot of people don't like the honey mustard, but I do for my chicken tenders or, you know, things like that. This is so good. It'd be good with seafood, too. Of course, I'm eating for shrimp, but, like, try it with your, what you call this stuff? Crab legs or something. get burned again. Y'all see me lift my arm <laughs> I got burned. I was trying to move the thing over there. I can just move it. It was on. It hurt too. Mm. Mm. That's awesome. I'm going to taste the garlic in there. Same day as you need to come on out with a sauce too. Come on with it. Good job. Okay, okay, okay. I'm saying he needs to go ahead and put it on the market, you guys. That's all. Mm. Oh, excuse me, I know it was gonna be loud in the mic. Oh, already out. So, I wanted to talk to y'all about something today, but I don't know what. Y'all see, I'm solo today, so it'd be hard sometimes to carry on the conversation. That was something another YouTuber told me like, man, like when you by yourself, sometimes it's a little harder. To keep up a conversation. I know I've taught y'all in the past, but it's like today I'm like, mm, what can I say? What do I say? Mm-hmm. Making sure my mic is still on. If y'all see me look over, I'm not on the phone. I'm looking, making sure my mic is still going. I made the chicken double crunch too this time. And I know, like, um, the reason I did the shrimp video today as I was cooking these is because people asked me about it. I was like, you know, why not just, since I'm going to do it today, why not just go ahead and make a little video? The video, y'all, may be about five minutes long. It's not long at all. Of course, everything is in timed, you know, frames where I prep, showed you what I use and so forth and so on. And showed you how I got these beautiful double crunch. What you call it? Shrimp. I be losing my train of thought. We all know that I ain't how to do this thing. I, I try my best to prep the chill before I start. I don't know how long it's gonna last, but let me throw my disclaimer in there. I'm a mama seat. Just in case you hear somebody fly out of somewhere or jump on my back, it might happen. <laughs> Mm-hmm. I don't know. I'm trying to light 
So, we were talking about something the other night, and one of our supporters, you know, I told them that I would talk about briefly, I didn't know that I had anxiety. I didn't know that I was suffering from it. I didn't know. Um, I was a woman who was in church, working in church, doing everything. And I was introduced to anxiety last year. Um, you couldn't tell me that will, will, that was happening to me. And it all started just one day, you know. Um, it almost felt like I was overthinking every single thing. And I'm pretty sure that anxiety is like rooted in fear. Because it was about this fear of what you know, the fear of what else, the fear of how we're going to get here. That, that I mean, you can even say word, I don't know. But I know I wanted to talk about it because sometimes people believe that others aren't going through it or don't see um, those matters happening to them. And let me add this in there. No shade. Especially in the black community. You know, nobody ever really break down to you that God gave us a spirit, a soul. Antibody. Although people have been thinking their spirit and their souls are the same, but they're not. I would advise you to look up soul and look up spirit. They're totally two different things. It's not the same. But I experienced um, it briefly in 2018. Anxiety. Did I get on any medication? No. How did I overcome it? Identifying that's what the problem was. And also beyond that, getting to the root of what was going on with me. I could have been, my doctor told me, he said, like, look, Tonisha, we're going to have you on medicine from the time you wake up to wake. Now, I need the medicine to wake up and medicine to go to bed at night. Mm-hmm. And uh, another disclaimer, I'm not coming against anybody that's on it because your girl was in there. Okay? That's not what I'm doing. I'm just briefly giving a testimony that's my own experience. I'm not talking against anybody or any uh, doctors or all that stuff. You know how people get a little sensitive. I'm not saying it. I'm just saying me as a woman in this era, I've experienced it. So, I just want to go on and just put that in there and moving on along. So, uh, my doctor was just telling me, look me in my face, said, look, Tonisha, you're going to need medicines to wake up in the morning. You're going to need medicines to go to bed at night. And I'm over like, skirt, who? That's how I was looking, because I'm like, no, nah, you can't be talking about me. I got six children at home and a husband. I got stuff to do. I ain't got time for that. That was my attitude, but I didn't think that I needed help to that extent, but I did. Because I was freaked out and overwhelmed. And I didn't realize that I was. I was like, you know what? If I got these kids, God grace me and bless me. Maybe everything is going to be okay. Honey, everybody need a break. Everybody need a moment. Everybody need to evaluate themselves and reboot. If your phone need rebooting, if your car can need rebooting, why not the human needs to be rebooted? Everybody else has one. Why don't you have a reboot button or reboost or whatever? And so, it played on me. Um, like I said, for so long that I needed answers. And um, one day, um, after all this stuff had settled or whatever, yeah, I was around a woman that I really didn't even know or whatever. And I came in and she was just looking at me. And she really got to speaking to me. And I know a lot of people don't really talk about the prophetic a lot, but I do and I believe in it. And she started speaking on things that I hadn't shared with her. And she prayed for me. First of all, let me add to Before all of that, I identified what was the issue first. With prayer, with some fasting. And then after that, that's when I met this woman. 
And how many of you know there is strength in numbers, okay? So if you got somebody that's, that can be on your team that's praying for you and different things like that, I think you should, you know what I'm saying, make sure, you know, that's what's, what God is sending your way because everybody ain't what they say they is. So make sure. But anyway. My kids. I got some people in my corner that were going to pray for me and not judge me. I got some people in my corner that were going to tell me the truth. Okay? Um, I'm thankful. Because everybody don't have that luxury. To have people in their corner going to tell them the truth, see what the issue is, and then I'll go ahead and deal with it. Um, I don't know. That's how deep I want to go about the story. I don't know if that's helping anybody. But one thing I can say if you didn't get anything else out of this is that you must identify why the anxiety is coming and where is it coming from. Because there is a source to all this stuff. It is a source. So... And um, one thing I put, uh, really found out about the enemy, he will like use like certain things that we may be going through, and he will like heighten them and amplify them. Uh, that's what really brought my uh, anxiety on. It was already something going on, and I started speaking out about it fearfully. And I just feel like the devil he used it uh, against me. That's just real talk. Mm-hmm. Use it again. Damn. Mm. Mm-hmm. But yeah. So you guys, I'm gonna give it an end this video. Let's see how far. Okay. But yeah, that's all I wanted to say. I hope that you all stayed engaged. Um, more videos to come. More sauces that I'm going to try. I would give the sauce a try. If you like fried food and you like dipping. Your food's in different sauces. that have a little sweet heat kick to it, so to speak. And has a nice creamy base. I would give it a try. Don't forget to go down in my description bar and get the ingredients. And also, you can go to his channel. And you can also look at it verbatim for yourself. Word for word, he talks about it. Excuse me. I'm getting over a little cold, you guys. Um, what else I need to say? Don't forget to like this video. Comment down below if you've ever had any experiences with anxiety or anything like that. Or want me to talk about it more you hitting my camera um i'm just gonna give you the raw truth about what i did i already kind of told y'all what i did pretty much identifying uh getting certain things that i had to pray for and against um so many other things tell me that other people may not agree with but that's not the point I just want to make sure that you all know that everybody goes through things like that because we're in a state of mental, physical, and spiritual. So, without further delay, don't forget, once you hit that subscribe button, you become family. It's simple. It's simple, simple, simple. Turn on your notifications so that you'll be notified every single time we upload a video. Okay? So... Thank you all so much for being patient with me and my uploading on a single level. <laughs> like far as solo and with my husband. We all been getting over a little cold, but it's okay. It's okay. And I just want to thank you once again for stopping by. I'm rambling, you guys. Why don't y'all just push me on out the door? Oh, hold up. You know what y'all can do? I got, since I got this food left over, you get those <laughs> Tupperware plates over there. And those, uh, what do you call this stuff? To-go plates. Y'all take this chicken and shirt with y'all. Here. <laughs> 
not you, girl. But y'all go ahead and get y'all a plate. Make y'all a plate. Y'all know y'all be coming for a time making them plates. Y'all take this stuff with y'all. But without further delay, don't forget no matter where you are in the world that you are somebody special. And I'll see you in my next mukbang. Talk to you later. Bye.